hey if you're losing money trading you got to try this system instead because you're not only going to lose money you're going to lose time you're going to lose energy you're going to lose uh, memorable moments with your family you're going to continue to have more stress and anxiety that's going to affect your mental health health this is going to mess up your confidence if you're losing money you're going to burn out dog please stop learning losing money trading just learn this system this is what i did i was losing money as well because these markets here you see the red and the green they're just like a slot machine they try to get your emotions going while it's going down then you sell and then it goes back up and then you buy again right here because you have FOMO and then it goes down and then it goes up and then down. These are almost random markets. There is edge that you can get in these markets, but you're not going to find it if you're trading by hand and if you're currently losing money now and in the past. And it doesn't make sense to keep spending your time doing the same things. If you always do what you've always done, you will always be who you've always been, right? So... I had the same problem as you, so I'm not trying to hate on you or anything like that. It's all coming from love. My name is Moondev, and I share this industry that I'm about to tell you about uh, with everybody every single day because nobody wanted to share it with me. So if you're losing money trading, try this system instead. This is the system right here. This took me a long time to figure out. Um, I obviously, I had a goal to automate my trading, and I would recommend if you're losing money, you should try to automate yours as well. But obviously not the strategy that you're running right now because it's losing money. But if you know if it's a, it's a good strategy and it's just you getting in the way with your emotions, then this might also work for you. So it just depends. Ask yourself this. Does your strategy actually work? Like if you didn't get in the way. Like for real, ask yourself. It. Yes or no? It's a yes or no question. Does your strategy work? It's yes or no? And if it's maybe, then you haven't back tested it. You don't know. So, okay. The process that, that I came to after about two and a half years of doing this, you know, I'm on about three and a half years of automating all of my trading systems. After about two and a half years, I came to this simple process. It's the RBI system, research trading strategies. So, you can research trading strategies on YouTube if you want. I feel like Google Scholar is a better place because that's where the PhDs are. That's where the mathematicians are. That's where the master students are. So Google Scholar, read papers on trading strategies and then backtest those trading strategies. How do you backtest them? Well, if you're losing money trading now, I'm sorry, but you have to learn how to code. And it's not, I'm sorry. It's actually, it's a blessing because I spent my whole life not knowing how to code and building products and doing all this stuff without knowing how to code. And once I learned how to code, I quickly realized that it's the great equalizer because now I know how to code and I can back test any of my trading strategies, but not only that, I can build anything I want, any app, any website, anything. So while it was a little bit of a challenge to learn how to code, it gave me the freedom to be able to back test my strategies. So not only am I able to find unlimited strategies, I'm able to back test them to see if they worked in the past. Back testing is the process of pulling in data to the past data and putting your strategy on that data to see if the strategy actually worked in the past. If it worked in the past, it's much more likely to work in the future. Now it's not guaranteed. That's why I'm saving you a lot of time and money here. If you're losing money right now, hand trading, you're going to want to go and build a bot immediately. But you see that's step three. I highly recommend that if you get into automated trading, you don't spend any money on bots. You don't implement any bots until you have a few back tests that work. And then what I do is I implement them into bots, the working strategies at a very small size, like 10 to, it depends. It's all variable. It's all variable depending on who you are, how much money you have and all that good stuff. But I'll put like a tiny, tiny bit of money in there that, I know I can lose with no harm. And that's because even though it's a profitable back test, I, sometimes it's not going to be a profitable bot. It just is what it is. It's just how it goes. The past will show you what might happen in the future. And it's much better to run a bot that does well in the past than something that doesn't. Right? So if you're losing money trading, stop trading straight up. You're not going to figure it out. 
if you've been at it for a while and it's it's been multiple years that you can't figure out your emotions or you can't figure out how to schedule your day correctly or you're just getting burnt out or frustrated stress you don't want to have that stress and anxiety anymore i know it so just stop trading okay perfect now you have time available because you probably were spending an hour analyzing what trades to get into and a, a few hours staring at that screen each day. So now you have a few hours each day that can be spent here. And the R and the B, the researching of trading strategies and backtesting those strategies. The backtest part is beautiful because it's going to force you to learn how to code. If you know how to code, then you're going to be able to make bots. But your you know, two to four hours that you now have available since you stopped trading because you're losing money. Stop doing something that is making you lose money, bro. I'm sorry. It's, it's just, I, it's the hard truth. I had to swallow that as well. I'm a trader though. I'm a trader. Okay. You can still be a trader. Let's just approach it a different way. So take that time you used to spend trading and spend it with researching trading strategies on Google Scholar and back testing those strategies. Once you earn the right by finding your strategy that works in the past, then build a bot. Yes, you have to learn how to code, but I learned how to code too. I didn't go to school for this. I'm just a regular dude. I show you every single day how to, how, what I'm building and how you can do it if you want. Um, I try to be, you know, just show you that like I'm, I'm regular, you know, I'm just a regular dude. I did not go to school for this. I'm not some super nerd. I'm not some super smart math guy. No but I have a procedure that I follow every single day. So I'm going to keep following that. And we are very deep into the game now. So what I'm about to show you next is going to intimidate you. If you're brand new, if you're not brand new and you've been here for a while, welcome back. If you're new, my name is moon dev. I believe code is the great equalizer because for me, it was the great equalizer. You can't stop me now. I literally can do anything, build anything for the rest of my life. All I had to do was sit down and focus for a few months, learn how to code. And now, I show you every single day what I'm building and we're working on genetic algorithms today. Don't let that scare you though. Cause when I first started, that scared me. If you're brand new to this stuff, go to my first YouTube video and just start watching. It's all free here on YouTube. You can learn everything. Let's go here. Moon dev, go to videos and click oldest. I learned how to code before this. But then after that, I started automating my training and I did it all here on YouTube. It's all here. All of the information is free. So I want to make sure that you have access to this free public good that I'm building. I don't know how long I'll be here, but right now I have the energy to, to also speak while I'm coding. So for me, if I can help a few people get away from this addiction that you have, if you're losing money and you keep doing it, it's an addiction. I'm sorry. I had the same one, but now I spend that time, not on these charts. I rarely look at these charts. Okay. You, you have the process RBI system, research, back test, implement. I probably won't look at a chart for the rest of the day. I build my data sources here that I care about. So you can see here, this is my sniper bot that we built. So everybody right now is trading on Solana. They're buying meme coins. So I built a sniper bot to buy them way before anybody can see them. You can see here, these are liquidations. So I'm tracking all the big liquidations because liquidations are when people maybe like yourself are forced to sell because the broker's like, Hey, time's up, buddy. That cash is mine. So when somebody is forced to sell, well, my mind says, Oh, price might not be too as real as real. So there might be edge there. Here are all the orders coming in on Binance. Every single order coming through, I see it. And then I store the big orders. It's really wild what you can build if you just focus for a little bit. This right here is sending every word I say on this video up to GPT, OpenAI's GPT 4.0. And it's listening to every word I say and then writing notes about it. So I can easily look back and say, yo, Moondev, what did you work on today? What did you talk about? This is my short term memory. Another thing that I was able to build just because I, I sat down, I removed the trading out of my life and replaced it with coding. So if you're losing money right now, just try this system. It's simple research, backtest, and implement. And it really comes down to take that time 
that you used to trade and spend it on the RBI system, coding. You can make your own RBI system if you'd like, whatever. The reason I set it up that way is to keep you away from building the bot until you have something profitable in the past at least. Because even things that are profitable in the past are not guaranteed to be profitable in the future. But if you go straight to the bot, then you're really screwed. So we're working on genetic algorithms here today. And again, I don't want you to be scared. Kick it. Watch this stuff. Just know that I'm a regular dude that's not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed to be here, dude. I, I didn't go to school for this, none of this. And, and it's just a preconceived notion. Like in my mind, it's like, I'm not a coding guy. I'm not a coding guy. I, I don't know how to code. I, I'm not a coding guy. My brain doesn't work like that. Yada, yada. But then I started losing money trading. And it's like, okay, the only way I can stop losing money is if I automate it. Because I had a strategy that worked. But I got in the way every single day because it's like over trading. Okay. Oh, I got to win. Perfect. Let me get another trade on. I need to catch every single move, every single, every single move. I need to catch it. See, that's gambling. It's so easy to go from trading to gambling. And I hope you know that. So the way to get away from it is just change your habits. That's it. Change your habits. Change the thing you do for the majority of your time. You can still be a trader, dude. I know we all want to be traders because traders is a, a fast path to the cash. At least it seems that way, right? There's an illusion there. It's like a, it's like a slot machine. They know that they know that these red and green bars is going to speed you up. They know that it's a casino B to spend your time building your own casino and that's building your own edge. The RBI system is showing you exactly how to build your own edge step by step. So every single day I show you exactly what I'm building. So 777 to everybody, pass the love to everybody that passes the love to everybody. If you, before I get deep into this, this is my boot camp. If you want to join it, it's, it's all good. But if you don't, that's all good as well. I made this a free public good. Everything is here on YouTube. If you need my code and step-by-step -step walkthrough videos, that's the boot camp. but I don't even need to get into it. There's a link at the bottom for my discord as well. Uh, you can see what other people have to say about it, but I want to get coding. So let's go ahead and straight off the bat, let's launch these genetic algorithms because every time I run them, they produce different outputs. A genetic, genetic algorithm is essentially mutating, mating and mutating. Just like in nature, plants, they mate and mutate. So if you can imagine you have three different trading strategies, well, we can take the features of those strategies and mate them together and then mutate them in order to come up with new strategies. So I'm, I'm way deep into this. Don't get scared, bro. You can, you can do this too. You'll be here in no time. The boot camp catches you up to speed, or you can just go watch the YouTube videos. I don't care. It doesn't matter. This is my, this is my, this is my world. This is where my focus is every single day. I jump on for three, four hours here and show you exactly what I'm building because nobody wanted to share this information with me. So I'm just going to share it with the world as I figure it out. Am I, am I the best in the world? Absolutely not. No, I am not your guru. No. I'm fighting this battle with you. And if you want to get up to speed with me, you can. It's all here on YouTube. Spend your time or drop $69 or something for the boot camp. It, it doesn't matter to me. I got big goals, B, and I'm chasing them every single day. I'm happy to share the office with you every single day until I don't want to anymore. When I don't want to share the office door, when I want to lock the door, I'll lock the door. There won't be any more stream. That's fine. But now we do have the stream. So I hope you're here every single day. Twitch, we answer questions. YouTube, you get the stream. That's it, B. That's it. I want to go over here to chat GPT and give me a summary. And if you've been here for a while, we've done this a few times. Give me a, a summary, a summary of everything above we have done. Explain it to me like a seventh grader. I need to get really good with 
genetic algorithms for trading and you are teaching me along with the above dive into the below topics as well and how they can improve these GAs. So we've got a long list of improvements we can make to these genetic algorithms. It looks like it's running the back test here for this one. We'll go ahead and go over it here in a few. Most of the back tests are poor, but it's okay because we're looking for the, the needles in the haystack and we're just getting started. This is day two, day three. I don't know. This is going to be a long project, but that's what we do here. So we do the hardest things possible. It's going to generate the most alpha for me. But what's cool is I do it all here. So I want to say grammatical evolution. Okay. I want to say Bayesian. Monte Monte Carlo evolutionary computation. So I'm asking for an overview of everything we've done thus far. And then also some new things. Genetic programming. Please go deep on all the above we have done and the new things and how they could be incorporated, corporated in order to generate more alpha with my GAs. Okay. I'm pasting that in there. That should be a nice, good learning section. Uh, most of these are going to be trash. You can see 99% down. Okay. This one had a return of 441%, which is better than buy and hold. Okay. That's fine. Uh, this one's down hundred percent. So I'm just looking for outliers here. That's why I'm passing by some of these. Okay. This one here is an outlier. You can see it's 4,000% return versus the buy and hold is 422. If you've been here for a couple of days, you know that there are a um, couple of things I'm I'm like not too excited about about these, but there's a couple of things I am very excited about. So stick around here, dude, and you'll learn everything I know. And if you need to get caught up to, caught up to speed with me, so you can remove that pain of trading by hand, dude, just start coding instead. Please, please, please. Do it for me. Do it for your family. Do it for you, dude. Get your time back. I still spend time on the computer, but that time is, is compounding time now. Because in, instead of just sitting here trying to trade, <laughs> which you go up and down, this one had a return of 5,000%. This one's a good one. Trading goes up and down and up and down. But with coding... And finding back tests and building your edge, you're compounding because every day you find something new. And hey, maybe you won't find something new a couple of days. That's fine. Every single day you're working on something that compounds opposed to a trader, like a hand trader, because you're still a trader, dude. Don't worry. I know I just took your hand trading from you. I hope at least. Because I was in the same position, B. And it's not fun. That's not a fun life to live. Anxiety. Because you're watching your trades all day. You can't even focus on the things you're doing. With your loved ones. Like, what are you doing, dude? I know you're ambitious, dude. I get it. That's why you're straight to the bag with trading. I get it. But it's not worth it. I'm telling you, it's not worth it. You're chasing a big win, but that's not how you win this game. You got to win. You got to win and be able to lose. But most people are not able to lose is the problem. There's some people out there that are fine. That's why, 
the title says if you're losing money and if you're winning, okay, that's fine. You're a goat, D. But some of us are not able to control our day-to-day -day life. We got things to do. We're not able to sit at the computer all day, dude. Some of us have emotions. Most of us have emotions, matter of fact. All right, so we got our three best back, our two best back tests here. I just mark them down. I've been marking them down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you're new here, you know I, this is all new to me as well. So you know, please be kind with uh, anything, any ideas you have. Please do put them in the chat. Just know that it's coming from a place of love from me, and I'm sharing uh, pretty vulnerable stuff here as I'm brand new every single day. Every single day, I'm always exploring something new and I'm not the best in the world. No, dude. Jim Simons just died, dude. He's the best in the world. I'm not even close to that, but I will keep going until I'm there. I'll tell you that much, B. And as long as y'all are nice to me and you fill me with positive energy, I'm going to keep showing everything. I promise you, dude. If you see negativity in the chat, throw the seven, seven, sevens. Throw the 777s. Seven, 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 that's passing love back to me. That's passing love to everybody. But I want to keep this stream going for as many years as possible. I'm attacking this crazy goal I have in algorithmic trading every single day until I get there. And as long as everybody's kind, passing 777s, seven, 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 passing love, then I'm going to be kind right back to you and share absolutely everything. So genetic algorithms for trading. This is a summary of what we've done so far. We defined strategies. We created three tra trading strategies. One was a three EMA. One was an EMA MACD. And one was a confluence strategy using technical indicators to make buy and sell decisions. We loaded the data. We loaded historical data to test these strategies. Then we did a fitness function. We designed fitness functions to evaluate the performance of these strategies based on different criteria such as sharp ratio, Sortino ratio, drawdown, and exposure time. We initialized the GA framework. We used the deep library uh, to create a genetic algorithm framework defining individuals, population, and genetic operators, mutation, crossover, and selection. We ran the GA. We ran the genetic algorithm to optimize the parameters of our strategies by evaluating their fitness, selecting the best individuals and evolving the population over several generations, back test the best parameters. Finally, we used the optimized parameters Where was our best back test? Okay, finally, we used the optimized parameters to back test our strategies and evaluate their performance. Genetic algorithms in simple terms. So first, a group of a population, a group of potential solutions, trading strategies with different parameters. That's the population. Then the individual, a single solution within the population, one set of parameters for a strategy of a strategy. So the population is a group of solutions, sorry, group of strategies, but the individual is a single solution within the population, which is a parameter for a strategy. For example, like a moving average or whatever. Fitness function, a way to score how good each solution is, e.g. high sharp ratio, low drawdown. Selection, choosing the best solutions based on their scores. Crossover, combining parts of two good solutions to create a new one. Mutation, making small changes to a solution explore to explore new possibilities. We got a big liquidation down here. You can see somebody just got liquidated because they're trading with emotions here. I'll tell you that much. I know for a fact this is a hand trader because there's no algo trader that will ever get liquidated. Liquidation fees are crazy. And all algo traders, I mean, sane ones at least, make sure that their algorithms do not get liquidated because it's automated, right? You're never going to take those fees of a liquidation because you can just have your bot sell before liquidation if you are allowing that big of a drawdown. If, 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 that'd be crazy if you are. 
selection, choosing the best solutions based on their scores, crossover, combining parts of two good solutions to create a new one, mutation, making small changes to a solution to explore new possibilities, generations, repeating the process of selection, crossover, and mutation to evolve better solutions over time, how to improve GAs for trading. So grammatical evolution, what is what it is, GE uses a grammar based solution to evolve programs or strategies. It generates syntactical syntactically uh, correct solutions based on predefined grammatical rules. How it helps GE can evolve complex trading strategies by combining various technical indicators and rules leading to more sophisticated and potentially more profitable strategies. What's the difference between genetic algorithms and grammatical evolution? All right. So this, these are just some new ways to improve our current genetic algorithms. And I'm just studying this because because I'm not getting out there and hand trading B. I'm sorry. I'm not going to go gamble with y'all. I'm sorry, dude. This is the time everybody wants to be trading all morning long. Okay. I'm not going to be trading. I'm going to be continuing to build my edge because every single day I put in hours to this stuff. My edge gets stronger. Okay. Bayesian optimization. What it is, a statistical method to find the best solution by building a probabilistic model of the objective function and using it to select the promising, most promising candidates. So a Bayesian optimization, it, a statistical method to find the best solution by building a probabilistic model of the objective function and using it to select the most promising candidates, how it helps Bayesian optimization can efficiently search for optimal strategy parameters by focusing on the most promising areas, improving the speed and accuracy of finding high performing strategies. Monte Carlo simulation. What it is B a computational technique that uses random sampling to estimate the distribution of possible outcomes. How it helps Monte Carlo simulations can be used to test the robustness of trading strategies under different market conditions, helping to identify strategies that perform well across a variety of scenarios. Evolutionary computation, what it is, what it is, ho, what's up, can it mm, in those guts, a broad field that includes GAs and other methods like genetic programming and differential evolution to evolve solutions, how it helps using various evolutionary algorithms can enhance the exploration and optimization process leading to more diverse and effective trading strategies. Genetic programming. I want to read this one again. Evolutionary computation. What it is a broad field that includes GAs. Okay. Evolutionary computation includes GAs and other methods like genetic programming and differential evolution to evolve solutions, how it helps using various evolutionary algorithms can enhance the exploration and optimization process leading to more diverse and effective trading strategies, genetic programming, what it is an evolutionary algorithm that evolves computer programs often represented as trees to solve problems, how it helps. GP can automatically discover and evolve trading strategies by combining different trading rules and indicators, potentially discovering novel and highly effective strategies that humans might not think of. Incorporating new methods to generate more alpha grammatical evolution, define a Grammatical evolution, define a grammar that includes a variety of technical indicators and trading rules. Use GE to evolve new strategies that combine these elements in innovative ways. 
Bayesian optimization. Integrate Bayesian optimization to fine tune the parameters of your evolved strategies. This can speed up the optimization process and find more effective parameter sets. Monte Carlo simulation. After evolving a set of strategies, use Monte Carlo simulations to test their performance under different market conditions. Select strategies that are robust and perform well in a wide range of scenarios. Evolutionary computation. Experiment with different evolutionary algorithm algorithms like uh, differ differential evolution particle swarm optimization to see if they can find better strategies and then standard G then standard GAs. So evolutionary computation experiment with different evolutionary algorithms. Okay. Like differential evolution, particle swarm optimization. That could be good. Can we, uh, I'll put some code. on this point above that you suggested to update um to uh see if we can get better results please update the below code in order to test a couple different versions different um algos evolutionary algorithms okay let's go ahead and find that code b exposure time okay this is it definitely um i'm just gonna pick one i'm gonna pick the roi one so this one is based off of roi uh this is all the code here and i'm gonna paste it in here and um this essentially is this this one right here. So this is a um, genetic algorithm that has three strategies. And I'll show you those three strategies. Class one, class two, class three. So those are the three strategies. And I just grabbed them here from our um, quant code section in the discord. If you're part of quant elite, there's new code, new back tests posted pretty much every day. And then I also put my code in here as well. So you can see, I just uploaded a volume market maker bot. Anyways, there are probably a hundred plus back tests in here now. So based off of this, I personally think a genetic algorithm can go through all of these strategies. I only put three in for now just to make it test fast. But where I'm headed is I'm going to put all of these strategies plus some of my strategies that aren't in here. And I'm, I want to make sure that this genetic algorithm gets so good that it can output new ideas at any time, because that then brings us to a place that others can't get to. Now, the next step of this is using, using indicators on top of all of these strategies. I know there's alpha in here. I know there's alpha in here. So I'm using a genetic algorithm in order to make, get some space separation. Like everybody has access to these, but I need to get separation always, always, always. That's what trading is. It's building your own edge. So to get separation from a, you know, there's probably a, you know, a hundred of us or something that have access to this. Well, I need to get separation. So I'm using a gene genetic algorithm in order to find the best variables within all of these different back tests that our team of quants have built. Okay. So I put three in here to test, but I just went over all of the things that I, the, where I'm going. I just walked you through this, this, uh, prompt here that I just said, all of these things, like if you want to just front run me, I'm going after this dude, I'm adding these five things into what we've done so far. And I just gave you a full overview of what we've done so far. You're going to have all this code. I'll make sure to show all of the code throughout. Take screenshots when you see it. But where I want to go from here is implement these five things, 
however I can. And then from there, make, put these strategies in here. And then from there, implement some of my own statistics and math probabilities, different equations that are not already in the public. So what I mean by that is pandas TA is out in the public. Everybody has access to those indicators. TA lib is in the public. Everybody has access to those indicators. Okay. Where I want to go from here is use these five topics. I talked about use some of the math topics I haven't talked about implement those things into a nice base. We have here this nice base of, of strategies that some are amazing. Some are good. Some don't work. That's fine because every single one of them could have a piece or an indicator or something that we can put into this GA. Once it gets good, you know, we're still on day two. Don't, don't, don't think I'm like ahead of you, dude. I'm not, I'm not, we're here together. I'm just telling you my thoughts in case you want to just be like, yo, I'm going to go do this myself. So th those are my thoughts. I'm going to implement those things. And I just explained them. So, um, Dang, I just deleted it. I want to say that again, though. Not to you, dude. You mentioned, you mentioned here that you can, or we can, can test a bunch of different uh, algorithms for uh, evolutionary algos to find better strategies than GAs. Please do so and output a three new scripts based on the one below and walk me through how and what new evolutionary algos you implemented and then um, give me all the code okay so i'm gonna go ahead and put all of this code in here i thought i already did that but It'd be like that sometimes when you're talking, you know how it goes. All right, let's keep reading through this B. Okay. So genetic programming. Use GB to evolve entire trading programs. This allows for the discretionary of complex strategies that might include multiple rules and conditions potentially leading to higher returns. Data preparation, ensure you have high quality, clean historical data, try different combinations of evolutionary techniques and fitness functions, validation, always validate your strategies using out of sample and Monte Carlo simulations to ensure they generalize well to different market conditions. Continuous learning, stay updated with the latest research in evolutionary computation and machine learning to incorporate new techniques into your trading systems. By integrating these advanced methods, you can enhance the performance of your genetic algorithms, discover more profitable trading strategies and ultimately generate more alpha. Thank you. What's the difference between genetic algos and grammatical evolution? Difference between genetic algorithms and grammatical evolution, genetic algorithms, representation, GAs, solutions or individuals are typically represented as fixed length strings or arrays. Each element of the string or the gene can represent a parameter or a component of the solution. GE uses a genotype to phenotype mapping approach where genotypes are variable length strings of integers these integers are used to select rules from a predefined grammar 
to construct the phenotype, the actual solution. Solution space, GAs, the solution space is implicitly defined by the structure of the strings and the range of the values each gene can take. This can make it difficult to encode complex structures or relationships directly. GE, the solution space is explicitly defined by a context-free grammar. Allowing the evolution of complex structures like computer programs or trading strategies, the grammar defines how solutions can be constructed, enabling more flexibility and complexity. Flexibility, GAs, limited by the predefined structure of the individual representation, while powerful, they can struggle with problems where the solution structure is not known beforehand or is highly variable. G, highly flexible due to its use of grammars. The, this allows G to evolve solutions with complex and varied structures, such as mathematical expressions, algorithms, and entire programs. So the mapping, GAs, direct representation of the solution in genetic material. Each gene corresponds to a part of the solution, a GE, a indirect representation. The genotype is a sequence of integers which are mapped to a phenotype using a grammar. This allows for a separation between the representation of the solution and the solution itself. Applications, GAs, widely used in optimization problems where the solution can be naturally encoded as a fixed length string, such as parameter optimization, scheduling, and computational problems ge more suited for evolving structures where the best solution is best represented as a tree or hierarchical uh, structure such as symb symbolic regression evolving trading strategies and automated programming interesting okay detailed explanation with examples so genetic algorithms Representation example for optimizing a train strategy, a GA might represent each strategy as a string of parameters, 5, 10, 14, 0, 2, 0, 5, where each number represents an indicator period or threshold solution space. Example, the GA searches the best combination of these parameters by mutating and recombining them over generations. Fitness function. Evaluate the trading strategy's performance using historical data, calculating metrics like sharp. So we're doing this drawdown, etc. Selection, crossover, and mutation. These are GAs. We're we're pretty familiar with these now. So, example: select the best performing strategies, combine parts of them to create new strategies, crossover, and introduce small changes, mutation to explore new possibilities. Grammatical evolution. The genotype 1, 2, 3, 0, 4, 1, 2, a sequence of integers. Example, define a grammar to generate trading strategies. Okay. Strategy. Okay. The integers in the genotype select rules and periods from this grammar to construct a complete trading strategy. Mapping. The genome one, two, three, zero, four, one, two might map to a phenotype trading strategy. SMA uh, close the 10 is bigger than the 20 and SMA five is bigger than 15. Fitness function example, evaluate the generated trading strategy using historical data, calculating performance, selection, crossover, mutation. Example, similar to GAs, but the operations are applied to an integer to the integer sequences. The resulting genotypes are mapped to phenotypes using the grammar. Incorporating advanced trading, advanced techniques, grammatical evolution and trading. So grammar design, defining a rich grammar that includes a variety of technical indicators, entry and exit rules, risk management techniques, etc. Evolution process. Use GE to evolve complex trading strategies, potentially discovering innovative combinations of rules that outperform simpler strategies. Bayesian optimization. Integrate the GAG. Use Bayesian optimization to fine-tune the parameters of evolved strategies, speeding up the search for 
optimal solutions. Example, after evolving a set of strategies with GAGE, apply Bayesian optimization to the top performing strategies to further refine their parameters. Monte Carlo simulation, stress testing. Use Monte Carlo simulations to test the robustness of evolved strategies under various market conditions, ensuring they perform well across different scenarios. Example, simulate thousands of possible market paths to evaluate the performance of a strategy focusing on metrics like drawdown and return stability. Evolutionary computation, diverse techniques, experiment with different evolutionary algorithms like differential evolution, particle swarm optimization to see if they can find better solutions than GEs. Do the same and give me new scripts. Testing these things too. So I'm just going to keep doing that B. Look at that. We got a new script here. Perfect. So you can see all the code. I'll make sure that you, you get to see all the code by the end of this. I'm going to start making sure that I want to make sure that every time you come here, you see all the code of everything. So I'm just going to keep scrolling down slowly throughout the video. Just screenshot it as you see, if you want this code, of course. All right. I'll come back later. Okay, let's go ahead and keep it moving. There's a fine line of me like I don't want to make tutorial videos because I then I'm not going to move forward, but I want to make sure that if you come here and we're on a topic, I want to make sure you see all the code. So I'm going to make sure to continuously scroll through the code here and there. Just just bear with me and um, we're going to we're going to get through. You're at the same you're at the same place I am B. So I'm scrolling through all the code right now. If you haven't seen that, you can just take screenshots, pause it, whatever you need to do, do whatever you need to do. I'm getting there. I hope you come to. So So use Bayesian optimization to fine tune the parameters of evolved strategies speeding up the search for optimal solutions. After evolving a set of strategies with GAG, apply Bayesian optimization to the top performing strategies to re further refine their parameters. Monte Carlo, use Monte Carlo simulations to test the robustness of evolved strategies under various market conditions, ensuring the they perform well across different scenarios. Simulate thousands of possible market paths to evaluate the performance of a strategy, focusing on metrics like drawdown, return. Experiment with different evolutionary algorithms, differential evolution, particle swarm optimization to see if they can find better solutions than standard GAs. Compare the performance of a GA, GE, and other evolutionary algorithms in optimizing trading strategies. Genetic programming. Program evolution. Use GP to evolve entire trading programs, discovering new strategies by combining various rules and indicators. Example, GP can automatically generate and evolve complex trading strategies, potentially under uncovering novel approaches that human traders might not consider. This is why we're doing this. Because we're humans and we might not consider everything. It's actually impossible for us to consider everything. You can see people are getting licked. Somebody just got licked 111 K here. Not me because I'm not trading by hand, not you because you're not trading by hand no more. Lesson plan for GA framework section. Um, this is a lesson plan. Okay, so we went ahead and put in all this code here and said, what do we say? We asked it to explore a couple new things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring some data scientists, mathematicians and machine learning specialists into the discord. Oh my God. Somebody just got wrecked 794 K. I'm going to go ahead and get some people that are even, I mean, it's not hard to be smarter than me, but, um, that are focused on machine learning, data science and math. And I'm going to also, I'm going to be attacking this so viciously over the next couple of months, but I'm also going to have them attack it. And whenever me or them figure something out, we're going to put it inside the quant code. 
So every single step of the way, you're going to have access to it. I mean, if you're in the boot camp and Quant Elite. So you don't you can't join Quant Elite until you get inside the boot camp. The boot camp is where I teach all this stuff step by step. You don't have to ever join it. Don't worry. I'm going to show everything on YouTube. Everything's free on YouTube. So keyboard warriors, shut the F up, B, because it's all free here. You can lick my D. It's all free on YouTube. It is always going to be free on YouTube. Show up to the lives and you see absolutely everything. If you need a shortcut, if you want to save, you know, however many thousands of hours there are of YouTube videos and you just want the answers of everything that I've figured out, that's in the boot camp. The boot camp is not required to join, but if you want a fast path to get caught up to speed with me, then you can join it. But again, I'm not the best in the world. I just know what I know. I don't know what I don't know, but every single day I attack those things I don't know. I just hope that I'm going in the right way. Now we're using GAs, which are genetic algorithms, in order to build on the hundreds of back tests that are already in our quant code section. So I feel like I'm going the right way. I'm not going to waste my time. So, I mean, if I'm not going the right way, I am wasting my time, but I am, I, I have been able to successfully automate my trading. Those strategies that worked for me work much better now that they're automated because I don't get in the way. If you're having troubles with your trading you're not winning right now you're going down you're probably frustrated stressed you want to still be a trader i get it but you can be a different type of trader be an automated trader instead of looking at these charts all day replace that time with this system or a similar system this system is going to keep you away from trading every single day and you're not going to build a bot immediately not until you prove that it actually works in the past don't be like me who just jumped in here and started building bots right away be like me in the future me now and i understand this and i know the alphas generated in the idea so if you research on google scholar you're going to be able to find pieces of ideas and then build your own edge with piece by piece and then you'll be able to back test it to see if it worked in the past it's not guaranteed to work in the future but something that works in the past is much more likely to work in the future so stay away from these charts if you're losing money trading stop trading trade again with a bot once you prove it to yourself that it works in the past that's it now i mentioned i'm going to bring data scientists mathematicians people that know things i don't know because i'm not a mathematician i did start this journey with data science but i'm not the best in the world i do know machine learning but i'm not the best in the world so i'm going to hire people that are better than me to help me get forward and everything i get you get that's my commitment I want to do this in an open way. Everything I learn, you learn, because I'm going to then learn and then bring it back to you. So I'm going to start doing that. And this is the first project I'm going to put them on is this. I'm going to send this code, this exact code. And let me finish going through it. I know I showed you all the way up to here since the start of the video. So here's another screenshot opportunity. I'm going to send them this exact genetic algorithm. You have all the code now. By the end of the video, I'm always going to make sure I get you all the code. If I don't, please, please let me know. I want to make sure every video you come to is, is filled with, with uh, just a ton of actionable stuff. So the first project I'm going to put them on is I'm going to send them this code and I'm going to send them some math topics, probabilities and statistics, ask them to Go ahead and try to build some indicators that are not on TA lib and that are not on pandas TA. And then I'm going to have them go through all of these profitable trading strategies and back tests, implement them into this genetic algorithm that I showed you today and grow on it using some of these things, some of these topics, grammatical evolution, Bayesian optimization, Monte Carlo simulation, evolutionary computation, genetic programming. You've seen all the code. You know where we're headed. You know where I'm headed. You know where my data scientists and mathematicians 
are headed. You have all the code. I've delivered everything to you today. I hope you do take me up on the challenge to drop the charts, drop the charts and spend that time learning how to do this type of stuff. What is this type of stuff? It's probably the stuff that you've told yourself your entire life. That's not for you. I was the same way, dude. I was the same way. I said, Hey, I'm not a coder. I don't know how to code, but coding is as important as speaking. And that's it.